But guys, here's what the part looks like. Very simple, has three tabs, and it goes up in this little cutout here. Underneath this liner, there's spots for these little tabs. And then all you have to do is cut a slit so this comes through. And I've seen people cut like a big rectangle out of it, but then I think what you're gonna get is a big open spot. You just need enough space to get this through. And you have to think when this is mounted, where this is gonna be, you only need the slit to be right there. So then you can just squeeze this through it and it'll look like factory. You don't want a big open spot. So you can see like the extra stuff, you don't need that. So very basic, I'll show you the steps involved. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna remove this clip and this clip to get access to it. These are pretty straightforward. Just pop them out like this. The car has a ton of these kind of clips. Okay, two of those are out. So now, I'll show you behind here. When you take this down, you're gonna see the spot right there. Okay, so basically what you're gonna have is this is gonna go in here like that. Okay, and this clips in, and then this piece is gonna come through on this side. Okay, pretty basic. Like I said, you don't, there's nothing, no tools involved, you just push it in there. But you gotta mark this so you can actually squeeze it through. So I'm gonna get a little marker and then mark the back side of this so I can squeeze it through. But pretty basic if you look. So here's where it goes. So you wanna kinda put it in there and then you're gonna mark right on here where it goes. And my suggestion is just to line it up and then mark it and then cut a little slit and then try that. Cause you know, if you cut too much area off, you're stuck with it. You know, then it's gonna look kind of sloppy. So I'll just, I'll go ahead and mark it and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay. So what I did was you got a piece of masking tape there. I don't know if you can even see it on here, but this line right here, little pencil, I can see it, but the camera again doesn't pick it up much. So that's this, um, the mark. That's where it lines up to it. But if you notice, see if you can even see it in there. See if it'll focus there. Okay, if I cut it there where the scribe is, you see this, the handle's at an angle, kind of like this. If I cut it there, this piece, if you look where it comes down, is probably a quarter inch up further. So that's where you're gonna wanna cut it. Because if you cut it here, this will come through, but it'll wanna pull it back this way. So you wanna, what you're trying to do is get this piece to see where this, the top of the handle right here, where this lands. So if you, it's hard to tell in here like this, but right here is where you're gonna want this to line up to cut, not here. So I'm gonna cut it about a quarter inch down from that mark. I'm just gonna scribe it, okay? I'll get. Here's the cut I made. So I originally made just a little slit and then you could tell it wouldn't go all the way through. So then I just took a, a razor blade and kept shaving this top part and then test fitting it. And that's the size I got. It's not 100% straight, because it's kind of hard to cut on this thing, but you can't really tell at all. I'll put it um, together. Here's how it looks all the way installed. If you see what I mean, it doesn't matter as far as like how jagged that edge is. You just don't want to cut too much because you'll see it. So what you do, how I had it positioned, it was just resting the carpet like right here. You push it all the way up. You can see it. Let's see, right there. You can see like the frayed. Then you just use your nail and just tuck it all the way under here and there's a little lip. And you have that clean appearance. If you look at it, you can't tell there's any cut in there. It's all the way through, just like it'd come from the factory like that. And then I'll have to just put the pins back in. It's good. I like it. Really sturdy, no screws. It's already made for it. Looks really good. 
So if you want to pick that up, I would definitely, for $10, I mean, something Honda left off, of course, to cut some costs, but I haven't really missed it. I just thought it'd be a neat part to put on, show you guys how to do it. It's not that hard. Like I said, just make a slit, and then you're going to slowly shave it away, and then just test fit it. Because if you do too much, it won't fit like that. It'll be kind of sloppy. I saw some videos where it's a big old space open here. It looks aftermarket that way. This way, you can tell looks like it came like that. It's perfect. And the, like I said, the rest of it just tucks in here. And it, it was pretty tight. I had to like squeeze it in this little pocket. That's what you want. Because if it's too big, once you cut it, you're just going to see it all open here. So I'll go ahead and just put the clips back in right here. Easy enough. They go in here. Okay, so this is all put back together. As you can see, it looks stock. It's exactly where it's supposed to be in the cutout. And you look at it, there's no gaps. Easy, just so it takes a razor blade and a $10 part and that's what you got. And then you can just pull it and just shut it like that. Very easy, convenient. A part that probably should have been just left in there, but for 10 bucks, you can't beat it for an OEM part. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.